All right, it was reported in Business Wire this week that Amazon will add thousands of new locations for free package pickup across the U.S. That's right, Amazon announced this week the expansion of its program called Counter, a network of staffed picked up pickup points excuse me, that gives customers the option to pick up their Amazon packages in-store at a partner location. With this expansion, customers now have access to thousands more Amazon Hub Counter locations, with Amazon's new store partners, GNC, Health Mart, and Stage Stores. Delivery to a counter will be available for the tens of millions of items sold on Amazon.com and works with same day, one day, two day, and of course, standard shipping. And the service is available to all Amazon customers at no extra cost. Just continue to increase the value of the Prime membership. What do you guys think of this one? Eh. Eh, really, you're meh? On That's, this one? I am. Really? Until, You're not stepping up to the counter? I am not, because until you can accept returns and do package pickup, I don't think this is that big of a value. I don't. I'm, really? I'm well, sorry. You have I'm not going to be a popular right? opinion. Yeah. I, yeah, it's true, but like, I would much rather just go to a locker. Now I have to wait in line at a Rite Aid or a mm. GNC to deal with people when I could just as easily pick my package up from a locker. Unless they can start to implement, I think, some sustainability things or they can reduce packaging or something because now there's a human that's mm. going to be giving you your pa- your whatever you've ordered. Um, and that's a way that they're going to pay this off. I, I don't so know. you want sustainability or return, the ability to return products I don't see how this well. is any better than having a locker in your the front of your store and actually think could be better to have the locker when I know about my experiences at the Rite Aids in New York. I, I definitely don't want to be waiting behind the five mm. people in front of me to pick up a package. It's or even your return easy. experiences at Kohl's too, right? Exactly. An example, I mean, yeah. and then you're going to talk about the infrastructure changes that these places like GNC, Rite Aid, wherever, mm. Health Mart, Stage Stores, they're going to have to put in separate lines. And yeah, I, I, I'm just not not 100% in on this experience. Yeah, yeah, the partner list is weird that they announced, like GNC, like that's not a place I necessarily go. Well, I guess if I'm yeah, a but it has storefronts. Like it has physical locations. Yeah, it has you a lot admit, of them too. And that's the yeah, point. There's a lot of them. It doesn't right. matter if you're going to go to a GNC. True. But for them, if they're where you are, maybe yeah. you will go into a GNC now. That's true, GNC, yeah. Emma, you're the closest to have living, lived in a dormitory um, where package pickup is probably not the easiest thing to assume. What's, your take? Tor- what, what's your take on this whole thing? What's that, Carter? <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, the dorms and apartments that I've lived in, packages really smoothly actually just come to the front desk. Someone signs for it, and then I get an email saying, come pick up your package. The place I live in now actually has one of these fancy locker things where specifically I think it's U- or UPS things go through this mm-hmm. Luxor package. Oh, locker. Luxor One. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Huge feel, fan of them. I feel them. really yep. cool going to get my packages, and Amazon packages go through that. So I guess this doesn't. This doesn't like really apply to me because I've never lived somewhere where you can't really directly deliver something to my door. Yeah, I think in I also live in a bubble similarly. Like I live in a house <laughs> that is a relatively safe neighborhood, and so like why would I deliver something? Like we had cables delivered last night for this conference today. Like why would I deliver them to a Rite Aid or another location where I have to go get them when like I opened my door last night at nine o'clock and it was sitting right there for me. I live three doors down from Carter, so we basically have an Amazon pickup site on our street. So Halfway in between. We have no need for this it's at true. all. It's true. So none of you guys are that excited about this, huh? Why? So, what do you think? Okay, I'm, I'm kind of interested in this one. I'll tell you why. It actually inspired me in the, in the piece I'm writing right now that's about almost it's like 85% finished. But I, you know, whenever Amazon does something, I try really hard to not look at the face value of what it is, and I try to actually say, okay, well, like, what is this five to ten years from now, and what are they learning from this experiment? And so when I start to see this and I start to see man stations, and you're right, it'd be cool to have returns, but they're doing that at four stall already with man desks. So I don't see like the convergence of that being that difficult to pull off. And they're learning how to do it at Kohl's, you know, as you talked about today in your presentation. So I start to look at it as, okay, like, you know, as they go into the grocery experience, let's say, or they go into physical stores in a much bigger, bolder way and larger footprints, you know, there probably are customer service desks that take on an entirely new angle. And so Amazon is trying to run experiments, I believe, in terms of what are those new angles that need to be taken on? Is it pickup? Is it delivery? One thing I wrote about too is it it actually, I shop the store checkout free, but I don't want to take the stuff home to me and I bring it to this counter and you ship it to my house from there, right? Which is actually a problem with Amazon Go right now. And so there's all these different ancillary services that can be built that give value to the Amazon customer 
off of this type of service interaction. Similar to what you were talking about today in your presentation, Ann, where service goes more to post-purchase than it does all the pre-purchase activity that we spend money on as retailers now. So, so I don't know. I think there's just, it's one of those cool things where it's like, hey, it's an experiment now. Amazon's great at killing their experiments if they don't work, but let's see what happens from here on out. How do you think that the partners are going to react to this? Because that's the biggest thing that we see at Kohl's now with the Amazon returns. Like They had to hire two more people at the Kohl's customer service desk just to support Amazon returns. So you think about GNC and you know some Health Mart stage stores, Rite Aid. Like, it's hard enough to staff these stores as it is, and now you're going to have to staff them for somebody to re- accept Amazon returns. Is it worth getting maybe more foot traffic in the store, you think? Well, that's the thing I don't understand. Actually, Josh Shaw asked me that on Twitter. Shout out to Josh. Um, I don't know. It's a great question. It was like, why are, the, why are these guys doing this? And I think what I told them was, yeah, I don't get it. It's a me too strategy. And if you believe the hypothesis I just said, then basically we're all just helping Amazon in the long run. And oh, you're really are. not creating any points of differentiation because you'll, everyone will just start to get in the game. It's like, who said today, baking soda and toothpaste. Everyone starts doing it. Well, then everyone starts doing it because they have no other choice. Right. And, but no one wins in that other than Amazon ultimately in the long run. 